It heaps fun today, mate. Day one here of the pop-up store in Australia. We're all on the bus. I can tell. I can tell. We're on the bus. The whole crew. How is it? Hi. How are you? Ready like to send it. It's the best thing ever. How was that flip that you landed on your back? It was <laughs> great. I know it. I'm still talking about it. She. She never ever it. messes up, so we had to. Yeah, I need that. Demi's, Demi's who I want to be in another life. And who actually I want to be in this life is this gentleman back here. Oh, hi. Hey. So, what we're going to do right now, all you Aussies, we're going to go around. I'm going to ask people all day today if they're Australian what their favorite Australian verbiage vernacular is. So, go ahead. So, we're going to start today a little bit crude. We're going to go with Ken Oath. Ken Oath? Because we're cutting out the, the F word. Oh. Like the F and Oath. Use uh, at the end, Ken Oath. Ken Oath. Yeah. And what, how do you use that? Like, oh, Ken Oath, I'm keen for that, bro. Oh, that was a lot of Australian all yeah, in one yeah, line. Yeah, we're doing it. We're bringing Ken it Oath, I'm tonight. keen for that. I'm going to try to just work this into conversations. Like, yo, can we get a workout in? I'm like, Ken Oath, we can, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheetle, what do you got? One of your favorites. What about the Sabo? This Avo. This Avo. Avo. This Avo, are you gonna get a workout in? Not not Avo, like avocado. Oh, av like Avo, like this a afternoon. Yeah, this yeah. Avo, I'm gonna work. Oh, wait, so it. afternoon. So not Avo, but Avo. Uh, Avo. Avo. Oh, Avo, Avo. avo <laughs> potato, potato. Avo, Avo. How would you spell the difference? Avo, A V O. Yeah. Avo, A R. Yeah. Uh, R. The R's are what's tricky here in Australia. They'll get you. Sometimes they just add. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We just feel like you add random R's into things. We feel like we have to add random R's to get you to understand. Arvo. Arvo. <laughs> Sound like pirates then. <laughs> Morgan. Um, probably keen as. Keen as. Keen as. Like, stoked. And that just is like hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. How do you say it? Keen as. Keen as. I'm keen as. I'm keen as. Like you want to, like hey, you want to go, Kinez. you want to send it? Again. You yeah. want to send yeah. it, bro? Kinez. You bet, oh, yeah. keen, keen as. Keen as. Nice. Keen, keen as. Keen, keen as. And do you have one? Anyone else want to go? <laughs> do I have one? Georgie, you go on. Um, so what Australian saying? Yeah, any any Australian saying Something that you, that you like. use that you feel it's Australian. What's gonna happen is all these Americans are gonna see this and try to start using them to sound cool <laughs> back in the States. Fuck, I can't think of one. That works. Fuck, I can't think of one. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite right now is frothing. Frothing. Uh, oh. I said that so American. I know. He doesn't get it every time. That's, I'm frothing that. Say it for me. Frothing. Frothing. Yeah. Oh, the waves were frothing, mate. Yeah? <laughs> frothing is it. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then sus. Frothing the lollies. Sus. sus to suss it out. That's one I really hadn't picked up on until this last year. So suss it out. <laughs> All right, let's roll to the pop. You guys excited? Yes. We were just talking shoes. This man has a great shoe game. We went shoe shopping together, and on? we both have these same shoes. Cue that song. Let me tell you about my best friend. I don't know any other words for it. The most random entrance to a pop-up event ever. We're gonna hear the crowd and the stage is just gonna lift us up. And we're gonna be covering all Akadaka songs. That's all Australian for ACDC. Thank you. Can you tell me why the colors are green and yellow, but yet then the flag is red, white, and blue? Yellow sand, green trees. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna go see him, George Ezra. I'm gonna go see him next week. Got all sorts of new stuff here, so look at this. Look at, the, look at this new design here. I'm digging it. Coming off with some new things here. This is the first I've seen of a lot of this stuff. I'll tell you what, Gymshark is, Gymshark is expanding. And look at this wall. How good is that? We got Whitney Simmons, David Lade, Nikki. I gotta do something about this photo. If I would have known they would have plastered that photo all over everything, I would have definitely made sure they took a different one because I hate that photo. Everyone always tells me, I look like Jeremy Renner, Nighthawk, or uh, Bullseye, or a young Daniel Craig. 
That, that photo's got to go. Got to go. We get you all to form a little group. Look excited. We're in Sydney. Yeah. Get up. Get up. <laughs> 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 what do you got in your hand there, Steve? A tinny. A no, tinny. <laughs> a tinny. Tinny, yeah, you know it. Stubby holder. Oh a stubby holder. There we go. It's a tinny. It is a, it's classified as a tinny. A tinny. All, all I know is... Here we go, let's get this real quick. All I know is Gymshark gets better with every pop-up. They actually have these on every single monster in the cooler. Like how like just the little things that make Gymshark going out of their way just make me feel comfortable. I didn't want my hands to get cold today. It's ridiculous. It's 100 degrees outside. I'm just, I'm just up here taking it all in. Having a brewski, sipping, you know, hanging back, soaking it all in. start day number one. I have a seminar in an hour that I really haven't prepared for. So we're just gonna send it, see how it goes. I'm better off when I'm winging things anyways. Today, is there gonna be that many people really to do it? Yeah? Maybe we just skip it then. <laughs> Testing day. We're getting the, the little team huddle beforehand. Ryan's gonna lead us in a cheer. You got it. <laughs> that was the most English thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Cheerio, team! Cup of tea, anyone? <laughs> For the queen! <laughs> watch this, watch this. Oh. Look at Lex getting the shout out right now. Lex, we're missing you, man. I love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. And your blonde hair is looking good. Oh, oh, there we go. What is something Australian, like what do you guys say, what's your favorite like Australian slang? Like what's something you say that you feel like is uniquely Australian? Oh yeah nah. Oh yeah nah. Yeah, nah. yeah nah. That is good. I like that. Like so if you're like, that that means yes or that means no. Yeah nah. Yeah nah. No. That means no. 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 Yes. Yeah is yeah. Oh, it's so confusing. So if I want to say yeah, nah yeah, or if I want to say no, Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. What? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah is no. And nah, yeah is yes. It's crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. What is one word or what, what is something they say over here that you were like blown away by? Like heaps, reckon, like they have all Arvo. these things. Arvo! We spoke, we talked about that one. I remember the first time someone said, let's meet up this Arvo, and I was like, what the hell's an Arvo? What do you mean? An Arvo. Yeah, they gotta throw that. Which actually makes no sense when you think about it, because afternoon, if you shorten it, there's no R in afternoon except for after the F. So yeah. afternoon, like Arvo makes Savo. Savo. Yeah. You know That's even more slang. It's just Savo. 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 They make them. These lazy bastards here. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you could move all, I was, this is the discussion I was having. If I could move all of my family to Australia, literally the same thing we're talking yes. about. If I took everything I had in Canada, yes. here I you, move here in an instant. You would. Instant. I concur. I concur. I would do the same. If I could take everyone I love and just transport them to Australia and have them not get bit by snakes or eaten by great whites or get bit by spiders. You have it. Yeah. The only thing I've seen is a shark. You've seen a shark? Yeah. Yeah, really. I was surfing one day. Really? They were like, there's a shark, and I thought I saw some fins. Maybe it was a dolphin, I don't know, but it was scary as shit. That happened to us. Uh, we were surfing. He saw a dolphin. It was like on its side, it was so its side flipper was up, which looked like a shark. So he thought there was a shark. Told everyone to get out. <laughs> it was a dolphin. Turns out to just be a dolphin. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you guys from? Scotland. I was gonna say you don't know all these accents. I got the German Italian dude. I got the Canadian, and then the Scottish people here. How many people are all Australian here? Yay! Yay! I'm starting. To, hey! I'm starting to 
I think uh, Australia was nothing but a bunch of foreigners, a bunch of European people. It's because Australia is so great, everyone wants to come be with him, am I right? Sure. Sure. I've, been, you know, I've been to Scotland and I didn't see the sun the entire time, so. Is that bad? You just look a little angry at that eyebrow. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's just so like, funny. See, look. Yeah, look at that. I gotta look at this one. <laughs> so yeah, I need to be over there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, just gonna, it's just gonna yeah, be, yeah. it's not gonna flow otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Lived in Sydney your whole life? You said, right? Yeah, my whole life. Any, any words, slang, or saying? Oh. Like we talked about this Arvo, Sabo, like we don't have that, we don't say that. You guys just kind of shorten up everything here. What is your favorite like slang word? I think one that, oh, like, there's so many, there's like, good day, how you going? Yeah. Servo, like that servo is like a service station. Bottle shop. Like the petrol station. Servo. Yeah. Servo. Yeah. Oh, the servo. Yeah. yeah. That's a new one. I need to go to the servo to get some gas. Well, really? You gas, so that's a, petty. The, the, so like a gas station. Yeah. yeah. Or petty. The petty servo. station. Or the petty station. Yeah. Petrol station. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <exactly. laughs> All right. That's a good one. The yeah. servo or petty. <laughs> hey, should we do a handstand? Handstand contest, real quick. He's been practicing in his room. I'm definitely gonna lose. <laughs> what do we teach? What do you teach? Hands close. Fingers. Fingers. Yeah, let's talk about this. Okay, so we're gonna the, the goal here. We're gonna go hands close together. None of this. I do a lot of that when I do a handstand. So fingertips. Wait on the fingertips. Yeah, yeah. Use your fingers hit and then slowly kick up. Don't throw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then press through the shoulders, right? And then you win. I'm not gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go again? <laughs> uh, I'm getting that next year. I'm gonna take a year to try to beat Nathan. Next year you're coming in a single hand. <laughs> right now we have this this Avo or Savo. Yep. The servo. Yep. The petty. Petty petrol. station. Yeah. We have Bloody Oak. We have Fair Dinkum. We have Frothin. Uh, huh? Frothin. Frothin. No, it's Bloody Oak. Oh, no, which no, was that? No, no. no, I'm serious. That's what it is. It's f***ing enough. No one ever says bloody oath. No one says bloody oath. No, no, no. It sounds weird. You know yeah, it does. Mean? Bloody oath? Like he, he just swear. He just say it. F***ing enough. I feel like swearing is more acceptable over here in Australia. <laughs> no, I feel like it, it is, is too. Like, you know, like everyone just swears this is the norm. Which is yeah. It's, it's, it's not a good thing, but everyone just says it anyway. It's like so, f***ing enough. That's it then, yeah. right there. Alright. We're going to add that to the list. Any <laughs> other ones? Any ones that you like saying? I reckon, I reckon I say like cracker a lot. Cracker? Cracker? Yeah, like it's cracker. Like the food is cracker. Like it's good. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I when you say like cracker. cracker. When you say cracker in the States, you're referring to a white person. Man, that cracker. <laughs> but cracker. Yeah, cracker. Like that food's cracker. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, well, like, that's yeah. a cracker of a catch there. It's like saying it's really good. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like that's a cracker of a hat right <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Cracker. Yeah. <laughs> C R A C K C A C K Cracker. Too easy, mate. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Okay, I got a good one for you. Okay. Right. Truth. 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 Truth with an S. Yeah, basically. Truth. So it's like, wow. It's like, oh, my bloody oath. It's like another way of saying bloody oath. It's like truth. What, what is it? What is it short for? So like when so, so say, true. Say, say you've just hit like a PR. Yeah. Someone goes, truth, mate. That was bloody good. Oh. And you've got it. Truth, mate. Truth, mate. All right. <laughs> that is my goal today: is to do something so awesome, so awesome. Somebody says truth. I sound like a, I feel like I have a, a lisp when I say <laughs> truth. <laughs> One more time. What's your truth? Truth. We're adding that to the list. We're going over words that Australians say yep. that the rest of the world is like, what? What do you mean? What are they saying? Do you have any? Everything's not bad or no worries. No worries. Yeah, no worries, mate. So what about no wackers? That's what surfers say. Whoa, what is that? No wackers? <laughs> no wackers. <laughs> Ethan's better at Let's hear it. Yeah, no wackers. No wackers. No that wackers, cool. mate. I like that. And you know what else I like? I like that uh, the shaka is like universal. Thanks, man. You're a legend. Thank you. Okay, you're way yeah. better looking in person. Like, yeah. You're better looking in Yo, on, on you hear that? In real life, he goes from like a 10 out of 10 to a 23, man. I'm <laughs> a 23 you. out of 10, I love it. <laughs> I, I think it's the, the Australian tan, man. The sun, all that yoga, yeah, yeah. Like the I'm, I'm, It's just that good, clean living down under. I'm, I'm moving here. <laughs> Talking about Australia slang, you have one for us. What is it? Gather. The gatho. I'm saying that right, gatho. Yeah, gather. Like we're gonna go have a gatho at nine, or later on today? Yeah. With a, with a heaps, with a, with a heaps of mates. 
Can we say that? Yeah. <laughs> Crack up. <laughs> so talking with these gentlemen, they, they dropped a good one that we've probably heard in America, but lay it on me, fellas. What's the word? Bloke. Bloke. You're a good bloke. If you're a guy, if you're a buddy, it's kind of like me, right? He's a good bloke. Good men. Good men. Good to meet you guys. All right. This is a good one. I, I've actually haven't heard this one. What 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 are we saying here? Um, bludger. Bludger. What's a bludger? It's kind of like. How would you describe it? It's kind of a slacker. Yeah. Slacker. Oh. Someone not doing their job. Like if Alec isn't getting me awesome Instagram picture, I'm like you bludger. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he's but if he's not, okay, good to know. So when you if you ever slack off, which you don't, I'm gonna say, <laughs> come on, you lazy bludger. Is that right? You might need to put a swear word in there to make it uh, more, more Australian, but yeah, it's close. Like close. your effing blood job. Yeah. Everyone swears in Australia. <laughs> it's like a thing. Like a lot of a lot of F words and a lot of C words. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's a lot more common. It's like a cool thing. I wouldn't say it's cool, but... Yeah, just like more <laughs> yeah. Do people say it? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Uh, the first time I was called like, oh, you're sick. <laughs> Think that's good? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's a good <laughs> There's actually a Kiwi though that called me that. <laughs> Alright guys, this one isn't much as a, as a slang. Well it is, I guess it's slang. It's, it's kind of like yeah. our redneck here is referred to as a bug. So it's like somebody yeah, who's... Bugger. Someone who's... Yeah, I don't know, what would you rough. say? A bit rough, hey gone. Yeah. Like, hey gone. Like that. That's a good one, hey gone. would be like out in the hey outback, gone. like yeah. eating, eating kangaroo every night for dinner. Bugger. Yeah, that's a bug. That's a bogan. Yeah, man. Goes to uh, Bennings for a snag every weekend. That, Bennings? Is that how you say Bunnings. Bunnings. Bunnings snag. Close. Close. I tried. <laughs> I've been once to Bunnings and had a snag. That's your All right, we got Chuck, who was trying to pull one over on me and said that we wrestled a crocodile last year. The only ma the only person I wrestled a crocodile with is Sean Stafford. <laughs> and then we got Alex here. They got they got a good saying for us though. Tip top. Tip top. How would you use it? Uh, Those shoes are tip top. That's the one. Uh, okay. How would you use it? The day is tip top. The day is tip top. Yeah. <laughs> Australia is tip top. Day one, Gymshark has been tip top. We're out of here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments. <laughs>